All right, so bands this war Scorpion, Kitty, and CGR. All right, so Boss Island, Maw, we've got S99 and Torch as options. Arcus, you have Diablo, Dragon Man, I'm sure works. Chavez probably works as well. Uh, Sasquatch, you've got Human Torch and Apocalypse. Um, Doom, you've got uh, Apocalypse and uh, Magneto. Abs Man, you've got Human Torch, and I'm sure Kitty or Sunspot will work as well, along with uh, Immortal Abomination um, or Scorpion. No, well, Scorpion's band, that's right. Wong, uh, you have S99, Human Torch, and Quicksilver. Void, you have Rolk, and we've used an Abs Man before. And then Punisher 2099, you've got Gallon, and then Diablo or Dragon Man, the Mystic Subdue options. One through three in section two on the way out, Mephisto, uh, you have Void, you have Human Torch, you can also use Apocalypse, uh, Path One, Terax, Abs Man, or any of the Mystic Subdue options, and then um, Penny Parker, that's a pretty easy gallon send, uh, wouldn't be too many other options besides Herc or Hulkling and trying to power it down, um, but can be risky with the unblockable. Um, Path 2, Mojo, uh, S99 or Titania, and then Domino, Omega Sentinel or Nimrod. Infamous Doom, you can go with White Magneto. I'm sure uh, Medusa works there as well. Um, yeah. Four through six on the way out, Korg, Omega Red, Apocalypse, um, probably even Valkyrie. On the way in, Fury, Apocalypse. Omega Red, Gallon, uh, Path 4, you can take the whole thing with Abs Man, or you can take um, Annihilus with any of the Mystic Subdue options, and then take um, Null with Doom, Shang-Chi, Fury, Mole Man. Uh, path 5, uh, Immortal Abomination, any of the Poison Immune, Nimrod, well, not Omega Sentinel, Nebula, uh, and then Longshot, um, Human Torch, or uh, Titania. And then path six, Scorpion, you've got Magneto, um, you've got uh, Fury, you've got Mole Man, and then for Storm, um, it's pretty important to remove those prowess, otherwise you're going to be fighting it the whole time, even if she is shock immune. Um, so you can still go with Nimrod or Cap Sam. Uh, seven through nine on the way out, um, Odin, any of the Mystic Subdue options, so Dragon Man, Diablo, Chavez. On the way in, Apocalypse, um, you could get away with Abs Man and hitting into block to remove the buffs. Um, you can also just probably use Nimrod as well and go the same route. Um, path 7, uh, Icarus, any of the Mystic Subdue options. And then for Killmonger, you've got Apocalypse and Omega Red. Uh, path 8, Cersei, any of the Mystic Subdue options. You can also use those Mystic Subdue options for Cable, slap on Odin pre-fights to kind of make it safe. Um, can also most likely get away with Nimrod or Omega Sentinel for uh, Cable as well. And then Path 9, uh, Supreme, Spidey Supreme, Ant-Man, you've seen me do thing, works. Uh, Titania with Abs Synergy makes her bleed immune. Uh, and then Bishop, you've got Warlock, um, you've got Omega Sentinel or Ultron as options. All right, one through three, section two on the way in, Gore, Gallon, and Chavez work pretty well. Nova, same thing. Um, Chavez, Diablo, I'm sure Dragon Man works too. Uh, Mole Man, Omega Red with an Odin pre-fight. Can possibly get away with Apocalypse as well with an Odin pre-fight. Uh, one through three in section one on the way out, Spot, Fury, and Jabari Panther rip him up pretty well. All of Path 1, you can go with... Uh, Omega Red for the whole thing, or you can go with Warlock for Thing and then uh, Havoc for um, Atuma. Uh, Path 2, Man Thing, Titania, and S99, and then uh, Weapon X, Nimrod, or Omega Sentinel. And then Path 3, nothing special about that Weapon X there, or that Crossbones there. So you can use Apocalypse, you can use Omega Red. Four through six on the way out, Chavez, you can use Human Torch, Quicksilver, or Doom. Path four, uh, Valkyrie, Apocalypse, or Omega Red. Path five, Mangog and Rintra. Um, 
So it's obviously to burn out all of Human Torch's Nova Flames, so you can use Human Torch and Nova Flame one of them, and then for the other, uh, you can use uh, Doom or uh, Mr. Negative or Quicksilver. You just cannot use Quicksilver for Rintra. Uh, and then Path 6, Archangel, Mr. Negative, Human Torch for Tigra. 7 through 6, 7 through 9 on the way out, spam. Uh, you have Kingpin, you have Rolk. Just con constantly spam your special one when you get it. You can also use Falcon um, Path. Seven there, Kingpin, Omega Red, or Apocalypse, and then Surfer, really anyone. Um, if you can flex your Mystic Subdue there if you need it. But you can also use your Mystic Subdue for Path 8, Hulkling. You've got uh, Dragon Man, Chavez, Diablo. Uh, and then Path, or Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, and then Path 9, Gallon. You can go with Blade or a Mystic like um, Diablo, subdue option, and then for Quicksilver, you can easily go with Kingpin or Jabari Panther. So that does it for defense. Let's take a look at attack. All right, so War 8, we've got JA Jedi Assassins. Today I will be taking in Gallon, Chavez, and Absorbing Man. We've got Path 8 in Section 1, a middle mini boss. Path 1 in Section 2, and a mini boss on Boss Island. So a heavy, air quotes, war for me. Um, but really excited about it. We got Chavez, Absman, and Gallon dominating. So Hulkling here, only fight on Path 8. Nothing to really worry about with the Snowball Fury. Um, the only thing we have to worry about, at least at the start, if we don't nullify buffs, um, is that undermining comment, or whatever it's called, uh, where if he has a buff, my defensive ability accuracy reduces by 10%. So game plan here, full combo into a heavy. We get the dark dimension up. And then we're going to do the same thing. Full combo into the next heavy. And then we get the negative zone up, or I think this one's actually dark dimension, purple's negative zone. Um, that special one nullifies all the buffs. And we get instantly special three. Good to be on the receiving or the giving end of this one. As I've said before, this opens all dimensions. So now we have five dimensions up, upping our attack. Now I'm just kind of waiting for an opening after he throws this special one. One of our dimensions falls, not a big deal. I'm gonna go into my usual rotation. So we're gonna end up, I believe, finishing a full heavy here because we're not gonna get a ball, bar of power. And then the next one, after this special one, we're going to open the Dark Dimension with a special one. Oh, no, oh, sorry. Negative zone, it's this next one. <laughs> so a little slow at the start, just trying to get these special attacks out of Hulkling. Here we go, into special two. This is actually going to heal us to full, and it's going to KO Hulkling. So we didn't have many dimensions open there, and we just kind of nuked him down pretty easily. Move on to our middle mini boss Nova here on Scared Stiff. Um, this one I made sure to duel so that I was very, very, very confident in dexing his special two, which normally I am, but before we do a war, definitely practice that to make sure. Here we get more of the sweeter uh, Chavez rotation where we combo, perform the heavy, open the negative zone, and then we do the same thing for the next two zones. And by the time we open Utopian, we throw the special two and we have it ready. Um, so there it is, the uh, Dark Dimension decks the first special two into a combo, into a heavy, into the heavy or the special two cancel and we take off a lot of Nova's health. So now it's just continuing to dex those special twos. I'm trying to push him to special two. So here we hold a block, he throws a heavy right away, perfect. We go into the next heavy, we open the Dark Dimension again we get this special two out. And then I try to KO him here with the Utopian Parallel. He's not there, so I decide to block Beta Heavy since Bubble Shield's not gonna go unblockable, and we KO him with the first hit. So super solid Nova fight, was pretty happy with that. Then Chavez's last fight here, Gore on 24. Um, here we're gonna PS1 and we're gonna intercept with it. I slap on a silly little Potion to revive, it doesn't even push Chavez to the max. 
Um, but whatever, I kind of sort of topped off. Uh, the special one is going to remove all of Goro's buffs so that we can reliably and safely parry at the start of the fight. It's also going to remove the regen buff so he won't be unblockable. And unfortunately, I didn't dex well there. Just ended up with a bleed. Um, so now all buffs are gone. Fate Seal is up. We're good. We got some Subdue up. I decided to throw this special two in Utopian. Doesn't take off 50%, but it does a great bit of damage considering it only has one dimension up and no buffs. Now we're going to go through the whole thing, but in reverse. So we open the dark dimension. I want to bait special ones out. Even if subdue falls off, it's okay if he gains buffs. It just means it's going to shoot us the special three when we throw our next special attack. So here I'm not going to let it open the dark dimension or the negative zone. I'm going to go straight to the dark dimension just so that I can get more hits. Bait this special one out and then throw this special three that's going to open three dimensions and have us supercharged and this actually ends up KOing him. So super solid showing from Chavez. We move on to Carl's only fight, Absorbing Man's only fight, and it's this Terax here. We've placed the Magma form pre-fight. Uh, that'll give us our energy resistance. And really, I am gonna block a lot of hits and not remove the Flourish buffs because it's gonna allow us to keep us keep Terax in Rockfield. And we're just going to absolutely abuse him in the corner while we take Rockfield damage and while he stays in Rockfield. And this is just gonna build up our morph charges. We're eventually gonna place vulnerability right before the special two. So here we go, medium light, medium into special two. You didn't need to medium light, medium there. We had 600 charges and Terax goes down in less than 30 seconds from a massive, massive special two. So it's a pretty joke fight for Carl. That's like his big time uh, overpowered fight. Penny here on Buffet, we're gonna take with Gallon. Um, pretty much your top option here. He handles the global along with the fact that he has Subdue uh, and he's nullify, nullify immune. So really we're just gonna combat here. We're gonna fight a medium light medium to start. And then once she gets her spider sense charges, I start doing combos where I end with light attacks so that if I do get auto blocked, which I hope I do because Gallon is immune to the power burn, it's gonna build my charges, my planetary mass, um, and then it's gonna remove the Flourish buffs. So he's, she's not gonna get pushed to special two while we're fighting on this node. So we're baiting out special ones, charges don't matter. Once they're gone, I go back to medium, light, medium, unless I think charges are gonna place. I saw an opportunity to heavy there and we had a bunch of planetary mass and down goes Penny from the first end of harvest. So super easy fight for Gallon. And then my last fight, Punisher 2099 here with Gallon. This one's a little bit longer. It's safe. Um, but since the node's not really giving me any buffs and um, Punisher 2099 doesn't do anything to trigger Gallon's immunities, it means we have to build our buffs through both our combo and through throwing special attacks. Um, so... I could have been throwing special twos here, just decided special ones instead. Um, and we're gonna try to get to max planetary mass. Uh, every time we block a special attack, we're going to see whether or not we need to get rid of flourish buffs. And if we do, we're gonna get uh, P20 or P99 to back up so that we can hit his block and remove him so that we're not constantly taking special twos after special twos after special twos. I wanna keep it at special ones. Um, we're throwing special ones without starting the harvest. What I don't want, or what I didn't want, is to actually um, end the harvest and uh, P99 have some health left because he will gain a regen buff if he's below a certain percent. And that'll make him unblockable for the node. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I got to max planetary mass and then ended the harvest. So there, no subdue. I'm gonna wait for him to turtle, hit his block. We don't have to worry about power gain at least combat power game. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the fight. I believe at about 800-ish planetary mass, I decide to throw a heavy after we get P99 low on uh, energy or power. And then we heavy and then automatically throw a special one. And then we end the fight. So it's gonna be one more special one to bait out in this last one here a lot of flourish we're gonna get rid of it there we go 
We're going to push him to special one because I want to set up a clean harvest. That's out. We're going to get rid of this. Push ourselves to special one. There's the 800 heavy into special one. Max planetary mass and down he goes. A nice 173k. <laughs> So that does it for my war. Our battle group actually lost their zero to three. So a rough war for us. Um, and then also a rough war for the whole alliance. We ended up losing this one three to 11. So it's fine. Um, we're still fighting for masters. We're still in masters. And this alliance is one of the top five, if not the top three. Um, so we just had a bad war and I'd rather us have bad wars against opponents who are really, really good. So. Uh, that was the end of that war. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe, give it a like, and I will catch you guys at the next war.